anti-money laundering left unchecked, results in what you've just seen happen with TV banks. Um, and I think it's easy, you know, sometimes to to almost depersonalize it, right? We think of individuals just unfortunately getting scammed or losing out on small bits of money. But the reality of the conditions here, as you mentioned, is, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars was very easily trapped to show that it was going to drug games, uh, you know, and, and drug crime and things like that. And I think, you know, we say, like, would people view the banks differently if they understood what the money laundering actually funds? My background is the UN. I used to work in peacekeeping. And, you know, money laundering funds conflict. It funds crime. It, it is a huge thing that we can do to create more peaceful societies. So, um, yeah, just on a personal level, I think um, we need to make sure that it is looked at as an issue that protects our societies beyond just scans that, you know, help individuals.